Hi, I am Dr. Naresh Bhatt, and the Chief of Medical Gastroenterology and Liver Services at Astro CMI Hospital, Bangalore. We are in a tertiary care hospital and a, form a major reference center for inflammatory bowel disease in Karnataka. What is inflammatory bowel disease? It basically consists of two disorders, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, which chiefly afflict the gastrointestinal tract. However, other organs like the joints, the skin and the liver and so on may also be affected. We do realize that inflammatory bowel disease or IBD is on the rise in India and all ages right from young babies to senior citizens can have the disease. What causes the disease is basically an immune dysregulation or an uncontrolled immune system where the body decides to then attack its own self. While genetics play a major role in the disease, especially in children, we now believe that the major damage is caused by changes in the microbial population or the bacterial population in the gut. And this is influenced strongly by our diets. This leads to an unregulated immune function in the gut and damage to the gut. We at Astro CMI have a team consisting of many gastroenterologists, six of us in fact, who are trained to take care of patients with IBD. We have the support of a very strong GI surgery service as well as our nutritionists and together we have a team that likes to take care in a very holistic fashion our patients of IBD. IBD is a chronic disorder punctuated by flares and remissions and we believe just like diabetes or blood pressure where we take medication for a long time and see our physicians for good control and management we need to do the same as for IBD as well so if we work together the patient and the team of physicians we can ensure a great quality of life no complications and avoid surgery if possible. Unfortunately, if any such event does happen, we are there to provide the best possible care with the available advances in medicine to make sure that our patients do very well. Hello everyone. I am Dr. Raghu, Consultant Medical Gastroenterology, Astro CMI Hospital. Inflammatory bowel disease comprising of ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease can have varied symptoms. Ulcerative colitis patients generally present with bleeding in motions and chronic diarrhea. Whereas Crohn's disease patients can have pain in the abdomen chronic diarrhea and growth failure. Apart from this, we may also see patients having joint pains, fatigue, anemia, anal region swelling, perianal fistula, and sometimes jaundice, skin ulcers. These symptoms can be of varied severity and intermittent. So if at all you have any of these symptoms, you need to check with your doctor.
and get treated accordingly. Thank you. Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Kyle Willi Nagarajan, consultant gastroenterologist at Asta CMI Hospital, Hebal, Bangalore. Diet, as we all know, is an important and potential trigger for IBD. It plays an important role in influencing the gut microbiome. Every individual with IBD must have their diet personalized. And this depends on two to three factors. One, it depends on the severity of your disease, whether the disease is active or is it in remission, and also the location and extent of the disease. General rule, avoid processed and refined food. Include a lot of anti-inflammatory diet. This consists of a lot of fruits and vegetables, good amount of fiber, lean proteins and probiotics. A special mention about exclusive enteral nutrition. This is a form of dietary intervention. It's a form of treatment for patients with IBD where the patient is given only formula-based food without the normal food that we eat. This has shown excellent response in both pediatric as well as the adult populations. To conclude, remember to keep a watch on what goes on your plate. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Anupama, a consultant gastroenterologist at Asta CMI Hospital in Bangalore. Goals of treatment in IBD is very clear. The first is clinical remission, which means no symptoms. Second is endoscopic remission, which means your colonoscopy is normal. And last, perhaps most important is histological remission, which means biopsies show no active inflammation or no active IBD. Now to do this, you need to follow up with your doctor regularly, be compliant with the medications and have a regular follow up. Remember, remission means less complications, no scope for surgical intervention and having a great quality of life. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jayalakshmi, a pediatric gastroenterologist at Asta CMI Hospital, Bangalore. IBD in children can affect anyone right from babies till adolescents, the incidence of which is increasing. Apart from the common clinical features such as pain, blood and stools, diarrhea, these children come to us with the most important feature that is growth failure. Exclusive enteral nutrition is the mainstay of treatment apart from the routine immunosuppressants. With adequate monitoring and therapy, we can ensure these children attain their target growth and have good quality of life. Thank you. I'm Dr. Amit Yalsangikar, consultant gastroenterologist at Aster CMI Hospital, Bangalore. Inflammatory bowel disease is characterized by periods of disease flare and remission where the disease is quiet. Disease remission means not only absence of symptoms, but also the intestine looks normal on colonoscopy and disease has healed. It is important to achieve remission because this prevents further complications obviates the need for surgery and ensures good quality of life. So it is imperative to have constant follow-up with the treating physician and regular monitoring of disease activity to achieve this goal. Many young women are affected by inflammatory bowel disease and pregnancy is an important event in their lifetime. The message that we want to give today is that a normal pregnancy is possible in these patients with inflammatory bowel disease as long as the disease is under control. A regular monitoring, preconception, as well as continued monitoring during the pregnancy and close coordination with the obstetrician and the gastroenterologist with the patient is important to achieve a good outcome. Hello. 
My name is Dr. Vinay Bhatt. I'm a consultant surgical gastroenterologist and GI oncologist at Astra CMI. We have a special interest in colorectal diseases and the management of inflammatory bowel disease. Surgery has an important role in the management of inflammatory bowel disease. In ulcerative colitis, surgery can potentially be curative. In Crohn's disease, it brings down the burden of disease and is usually reserved for complications. Emergency surgeries often result in stomas. Hence, timely intervention can lead to better outcomes. Inflammatory bowel disease is best managed as a multidisciplinary effort involving the medical and the surgical gastroenterologists. Thank you. To summarize, inflammatory bowel disease is a problem for many patients. But we as a team will work together with the patient to ensure good quality of life, help them with their nutrition, help them keep the disease under control. And for that, we need to have a long lasting, strong and confident relationship between the physician and the patient. And once we have achieved that, then I'm sure we'll have great years ahead and with great quality of life. Thank you.